Chapter 2, The Magic Feather Very carefully, Rachel picked up the shell. It felt warm and smooth. The humming stopped at once. I shouldn't be scared, said a tiny voice. I just have to be brave and help will come soon. Kirsty put her face close to the shell. Hello, she whispered. Is there a fairy in there? Yes, cried a voice. I'm Amber, the orange fairy. Can you get me out of here? Of course we will, Kirsty promised. My name is Kirsty, and my friend Rachel is here too. She looked up at Rachel, her eyes shining. We found another rainbow fairy. Quick, Rachel said. Let's get the shell open. She took hold of the scallop shell and tried to pull the two halves apart, but nothing happened. Try again, said Kirsty. She and Rachel each grabbed one half of the shell and tugged, but the shell stayed tightly, tightly shut. What's happening? Amber asked, and she sounded worried. Mm, we can't open the shell, Kirsty said, but we'll think of something. She turned to Rachel. If we find a piece of driftwood, maybe we could pry the shell open. Rachel glanced around the beach. I don't see any driftwood, she said. We could try tapping the shell on a rock. Mm, that might hurt Amber, Kirsty pointed out. Suddenly, Rachel remembered something. What about the magic bags that the fairy queen gave us? She said, oh, of course, Kirsty cried. She put her face close to the shell again. Amber, we're going to look into the magic bags, she said. Okay, but please hurry, Amber called. Rachel opened her beach bag. The two magic bags were hidden under her towel. One of the bags was glowing with a golden light. Carefully, Rachel lifted it out. Look, she whispered to Kirsty. This one's all lit up. Open it quick, Kirsty whispered back. As Rachel untied the bag, a fountain of glittering sparks flew out. What's inside? Kirsty asked, gently putting down the shell. Rachel slid her hand into the bag. She could feel something light and soft. She pulled it out, scattering sparkles everywhere. It was a shimmering golden feather. Kirsty and Rachel stared at the feather. It's really pretty, said Kirsty, but what are we going to do with it? I don't know, Rachel replied. She tried to use the feather to push the two halves of the shell apart. But the feather just curled up in her hand. Maybe we should ask Amber. Amber, we've looked into the magic bags, Kirsty said, and we found a feather. Oh, that's good, Amber said happily from inside the shell. That's wonderful news. Well, we don't know what to do with it, Rachel added. Amber laughed. It sounded like the tinkling of a tiny bell. Well, you tickle the shell, of course, she said. Do you think that'll work? Rachel said to Kirsty. Let's give it a try, said Kirsty. Rachel began to tickle the shell with the feather, and at first nothing happened. And then they heard a soft, gritty chuckle, followed by a tinkly giggle from inside the shell, and then another chuckle, and another, and suddenly the two halves of the shell began to open. It's working, Kirsty gasped. Keep tickling, Rachel. The shell was laughing hard now, and the two halves opened wider. And there, sitting inside the smooth, each colored shell was Amber, the orange fairy. The next chapter is called A Stranger in the Pot.